Lesnick? Here. Mr. Cora? Present. Mr. Kramer? Here. Mr. Kearney? Here. Mr. Mariano? Here. Mrs. Murphy? Here. Okay. Oh, Mr. Good evening, my name is Russ Peterson. I'm 1706 Mornell Drive. I have two children in the district, an eighth grader and a fifth grader. Um, I believe the superintendent probably received some emails today, and I think we had a positive response regarding uh, facility fees. Uh, my, my children participate in a group called the Pittsburgh Youth Philharmonic Orchestra. Um, it's been rehearsing here for about nine years. I'd like to speak to advocate for the value it's brought to the district. I think we have about 17 students from CB that participate in a count. Uh, that may go up as the season goes. And uh, then they also provide a free festival in the spring that we usually get probably another good 40 or 60 kids from the intermediate school to participate in for free. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity. It's been a real extension of the music program here. Mike uh, Hall has been very closely associated with the group over the years, as well as having his children participate. Um, uh, the Candrack has been very closely associated over the years. Um, and once upon a time, Sally was on the board of the group. Um, I, I, again, I said, I think the assistant superintendent reached out to them this evening, hopefully with uh, a positive. But I just wanted to, to affirm that this is hopefully not a burden for the district, but it's also been a real value. My, uh, my son's moved on to the Youth Symphony, but for the last couple of years he was principal base in the group, and uh, as, a, as a freshman mate in the Pittsburgh Youth Symphony, I think he couldn't have done that kind of stride without the uh, experience of Calgary from his organization. So that's my two cents. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else this evening? We did have an executive session prior to our public meeting tonight to discuss personnel matters. This time, I'd like to get the superintendent's report, please. Certainly. So, we have a few things um, this evening uh, some newer things and some other things to address as well. Um, first thing, I'd like to acknowledge an article that was put out by the Gazette. Um, a study that the University of Pittsburgh conducted on racial disparity and disciplinality. Um, CD was one of the districts mentioned within that. Side of the rates from 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, they did. An unfavorable public mention raises concern and causes us all to pause with our issues that we may have at the end. But I want us to remember as we continue to change and move forward with our administrative team to look at various things, we are always committed to the better practices of our students, to making sure that our children are the utmost priority, and we will be working on that. So I just wanted to make some comments that that article there, that was part Another thing that's a little different, I hope to monthly give some accolades and some updates on what's going on in the district. I thought this may be an opportune time to do so. So, um, as we've had the inspiring excellence, we wanted to talk about a little bit of celebrating excellence. Michaela, you're going to have to help me out because I don't have a mouse with this. So, you're going to have to go quick. So, we've been busy over the summer. Um, we looked at, um, again, we've had a fortunate opportunity to rebuild and grow and have some new faces and additions. So we've adopted at CB7, we've talked about some core values of the Chartres Valley School District. So we've highlighted and worked on those there. Go ahead, Michaela, so I'll just go through. We also, uh, many times, people ask, what are, what are educators doing this summer with all of your time? Well, we attend professional development and we learn. Um, our, some of our principals and teachers were able to attend a national conference over the summer that was funded uh, primarily from a grant, and they worked on personalized learning. 
And within that, we also had some of our teachers go to AP professional development. We have offer over 21 AP classes here. And we coordinate with the NIMSI training, which is a National Math and Science Initiative. So we added another course, uh, an AP capstone course for our science, and that is the biomedical program. We have about seven to nine students enrolled in that. Not a lot, but that's a for four years of biology. So you have to <coughs> imagine four years of higher level biology. Um, you don't get a lot, but the impact is, is great. We also add an AP seminar course, which gives another AP capstone. All of our students, if they <coughs> score high enough, will um, get some type of college credit for their time with their AP classes. We also looked at the primary school, offering programs that focus on social and emotional education, mindfulness, art expression, and mindfulness through movement. Some other things, obviously, we spoke about Officer Popper, who was awarded the National Exceptional Service Award from NASRO. Moving forward, our dance group. They went to Ohio over the summer. Um, they ranked very highly there. We have a student that was named All-American. We also um, have been to compete nationals in Orlando. Our boys' soccer team raised 500 bucks for some ritual flood, flood relief. And we've noticed that we also have become a litter-free school zone. We've partnered with Key Pennsylvania Beautiful. So you'll see these signs around campus. So um, that was an opportunity we had, and we quickly jumped on that. We have distributed some Chromebooks and other technologies to our teachers. And moving forward, we also, our elementary principals had popcorn with principals. So this was a time for our students to get oriented with their principals, meet them, and see what's going on. Opening week was great. Um, we had Dr. Kevin Elko, um, who is an in-house resident here, speak and motivate the staff, get us ready to go. Uh, we had professional development from our teachers that was led internally from our administrative team. So we led that professional development based upon instructional practices, personalized learning, and how to make sure that we are reaching our students. At this kid's first day, they did great. Um, I was around at all, all campuses, and they had a great day. They were excited to see their principals and their teachers again. I also have an opportunity to tour Parkway West Career Centers. That vocational center serves about 100 of our students, and in 13 different programs. Anywhere from culinary to carpentry to aeronautics, you can get your, uh, your flight license there, um, that our students take part in. Um, Dr. Darby Copeland gave a wonderful tour for that. And of course, you can't end it without mentioning this, right? So, um, we wrinkled out of the water 48-0 on Friday. That was a wonderful highlight that I got play by play as I was traveling. We also um, had some media mentioned. The trip mentioned us um, as we head back and also talked about our administrative changes and some new hires there, so we got some shout outs. Um, social media through that. So that was just what's been going on the last week. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. I really love that. Yeah, I really yeah. love yeah. that. Yeah. And, and I think Jalen, you yeah. put it together very nice. You can get some new across from that. Yeah. That will give us something to really look forward to. Thank you. So. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Great work. Okay, at this time I'd like to approve the minutes, get a, get a motion to approve the minutes from June 12th and June 26th meetings. If I could please get a motion to approve, uh, the superintendent recommends that I so move to approve the minutes from June 12th, 2018 and June 26th, 2018. Curry first. Second by Mr. Mariano. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. <clears throat> okay, on to our informational agenda. Uh, the Education Foundation. Can you make Kayla, do you have anything to report about? Sure. Um, we're actually meeting this week with uh, representatives of uh, the foundation. And um, I'd like to talk to them a little bit about um, some ideas that I have um, for a marketing campaign to attract um, sponsors and donors to really boost the foundation and, and really still benefit our students and teachers. So it's uh, preliminary right now. We're still, you know, getting into the meeting phase. A lot of the members were on vacation, and hard, it's hard for us to get together with all of them. But they have reached out, and we are at the meeting uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Great. Great. Good news. Thank you for that report. 
Pathfinder. Kramer. Uh, Pathfinder, we had our meeting last week. Um, enrollment is up to 77 for the upcoming year. That means we've replaced all of the graduated uh, students plus another two, so that was good. Um, we're opening the our second pride room. Um, I don't know if you remember that the pride room is uh, primarily based for students that are 18 to 21. At Pathfinder, they can continue past 18 years of age to 21, and it focuses more on mostly on life skills. Teaches them laundry, cooking, traffic safety, um, public transportation, how to get around. Um, it, you know, just basic life skills and all that. So. Um, the program has gone so well, they're opening the second group this year. Um, Nick Fredo is doing a really good job over there as a principal. And then, um, third thing, we, uh, we continued our roof replacement discussions. Um, we're going to take a vote next week. Um, you know, there's five districts in there. There's three of three districts who have instructed their representatives to vote to just use Garland and go with Garland overseeing, bidding and overseeing the project. Uh, and there's two that still haven't made up their mind, so overall, I mean, there's the votes to carry just using Garland. Um, as a construction but, manager. Uh, yeah, they they are they're actually manufacturers of manufacturers of the roofing product, this built up roof system. And so what they do is they agree to sell the product to all contractors at the same price, and they bid out the installation. Um, the the other option was to. Um, get an architect involved and have the architect look at multiple products um, and then take those out to bid. Um, but it's pretty common. Yeah, it's pretty common um, in, uh, on campuses, both high school and um, you know um, uh, college campuses, to use this Garland system. Though they do carry a longer warranty, they're typically 30 to 35 year warranties. Where TPOs and you know TPO systems are 20 to 25 years, so it's a little more expensive up front, but it does have 10 year more warranty associated with it. So, so we'll hold that for next time. Um, it will likely fall into the not this year's operating budget. It will fall into the next. Year. So we'll have time in the spring to when we're getting ready for the next um, school year budget. To consider the cost, even though our prorated cost is going back in the district. Thank you for your report. Mr. Porter Parkway. Thank you. Uh, like most school districts, we did not have a meeting on July. We did have a meeting last week that Eric had his. Uh, there was only a few things mentioned. Our uh, enrollment is up to 848, which is really good. Um, <clears throat> they're on the verge of starting, and they're pretty excited about it, working with UPMC, the Health Academy. So they're pretty excited about that. And we have the Parent Orientation Day, August 16th. <coughs> and we are new HVAC instructor. That's pretty much all I have. So it was a quiet summer. Thank you. This is what I was doing. Shasta? Uh, Shasta has been, you know, off for the summer, <coughs> and I anticipate receiving communication in the next you know, week or so, probably with some dates for this school year's meetings. Thank you. Mr. Kaczynski, finance committee? Uh, we did not have a finance committee. Thank you. Okay, we'll move on to the consent agenda. We'll look at items number 7.1 through 7.9. Yep. If anybody has any questions or comments regarding the consent agenda, please present them at this time. A lot of these pertain to policy readings, <coughs> and these are, some of them are first readings, some of them are second readings. The second, all should be first reading on the consent, and then second reading will be an actual second. Thank you. Dr. Vanell, could you explain a little bit to us about this equity plan as part of Title I? Certainly. So um, districts are all provided, they are required as part of Title I to have an equity plan, which makes sure that all of our students are educated through highly qualified teachers. 
Um, this plan usually pertains more to private or charters that don't have the same requirements through PDE that we have. All of our teachers are highly qualified in the content area. Basically, this just ensures that we don't have a math teacher teaching English. We have it, you know, which is out of their certification at uh, a secondary level. Elementary is a little different, obviously, because they get that in schools. But that's the equity plan. It is required in order for us to get our funding. Um, from um, state and federal government for a table to work that. Okay. Yeah. And uh, could you uh, explain to us also uh, the new role that Mr. Seltzer is taking as school safety and security coordinator? Certainly. So, uh, PDE has installed a safety <coughs> and security committee at the state level. Um, because of that, um, they also put in new legislation over the summer, Act 39 and Act 44, and within these acts there are various requirements for school safety and security. One of those being that by August 30th, we have to appoint an administrator to oversee safety and security. Um, our SROs are contracted out, they are not in-house administrators, so since they're with Scott and Collier, obviously they don't fit that requirement. This person, obviously, Mr. Seltzer is graciously accepted to help us out with that role. Job. And um, I saw. so, um, thanks, Bob. We call us our job. He doesn't think he's getting a uniform, does he? Yeah. Uh, I think we have to get one. We want to get one. But uh, so he graciously took on this role. Thank you, Scott. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Another challenge we presented to Mr. Salter. Although we haven't proven yet, we're too short. Thank you. 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 Thank Julie, Julie, did you vote there? I didn't hear you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So moved. Aye. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, on to our action discussion items. This is basically <coughs> Superintendent recommended I so move to approve the second reading of the following policies. Uh, number 249, bullying. Number two, 835, commercial act. Number 352, social media. Number 610 finance, number 625 finance, number 626 finance, number 626.1 finance, and 611 finance. <clears throat> Any comments on those items? These are just updates. They are. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 we're just updating. Mm -hmm. So everybody has yeah. yep. All right, can I get a motion to approve that to the second reading? Mr. Kramer first. Second. Mr. Kearney second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. And with that, we come to the public comment section once again. Anybody would like to make a comment? I'll close with a couple of things then. Um, it was great to participate in the opening day with our teachers and our faculty and administration. Um, it was a wonderful day uh, with Mr. Kramer, Mrs. Lesnick, myself, um, Mr. Kaczynski. Uh, we're able, fortunate enough and able to attend. Um, Dr. Alco's speech was unbelievable, 45 minutes of motivating and, and really an uplifting, hard, really hard uh, way to, to look at what is real, and he was awesome. Um, he, he just laid it out there and said, you know, this is what's important, and this is how we how we should be acting, and this is what we should be doing as teachers and as motivators and as life examples of these kids. So he was awesome. It was, it was great to listen to that. Um, it was also fun to sit in the stands Friday night and watch the football team have a great game. Um, I haven't seen a Charger Valley team dominate another team like that in a long, long time. So. Uh, Hats off to Coach Noss, he's doing a great job. His staff and those kids are really motivated. Um, we are very close to um, 
and I'll, and I'll say this just so everybody's aware, uh, having a, a renewal uh, a contract with Mr. Seltzer, um, we as, as, as a board felt it was important to keep him in place for a five-year period going forward. We're hoping to have that uh, re resolved in the next few weeks and have him and Dr. Ben Otto working together as a team here in the Church of Water for the next five years. So here, here. We're working on that. And uh, that said, oh, I also want to thank Mr. Kaczynski for stepping up and handling a, uh, a process that's not going to be an easy one. We as a board have sat with our uh, consultant who was our uh, search consultant for our new superintendent. And as part of his due diligence, he has uh, a program and he comes back and serves us as the, not mediator, but kind of the coach to get us to a great point where we evaluate Dr. Bonata's job going forward, not just throw her in there and say, good luck. This is actually a very detailed, very organized um, process that we are going to follow. And Mr. Kaczynski has uh, stepped up to help administer that process. And that's uh, going to be a lot of work. And that's probably great. Yep. And we do have to go into an executive session for one more personal matter about this. So, with that, I would like to get a motion to adjourn. Tony. Yes. Um, this is Debbie Watson last uh, week here at the school district. Could we possibly uh, send her a congratulatory uh, uh, from the board, uh, thanking her for her wonderful years of service? Um, but she stepped in when uh, we were kind of in trouble, and she did a great job. Thank you. So, uh, Good suggestion, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Order first. Second by Mr. Kearney. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. We are adjourned. Aye. 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 Aye.